Gone are the days when a note passed between classmates was a serious form of bullying. Now the internet and mobile phones are being used frequently to bully teenagers. Teenagers are now being more heavy, heavily bullied in their bedrooms than they are at school. And I think because of that, this is why we call it covert bullying, because it's under the radar. I myself was, was bullied when I was at school, um, online and face to face. I have to say, I mean, let's be honest, I, I guess I sent a horrible SMS or two myself. Um, it's really easy for it to happen. Best Enemies, a 12-minute film about the breakdown of a friendship between two girls, has screened to local students in Griffith this week. The film was inspired by a true story about a parent whose daughter had experienced extreme cyberbullying. It really shows how you know best friend relationships, especially girls, can be mean to each other and how you know the dissemination of sending text messages and bullying through social network sites can have such a terrible impact. But it's hoped that after seeing this film, teenagers and the wider community will have a better idea of the impact cyberbullying has on young people and how to report such incidents. It was followed by a question and answer session where young people could find out more. If someone sends you a text message, someone posts something that's threatening, harassing or offensive to you and you feel intimidated by that, that is a, an offence. The director of the film believes a national policy on the issue is the best way to move forward. I think you've got to, in some way, try and get the, the networks or communities that young people are using to be able to participate in some cyber safety. Jacqueline Cromasco, Win News.